I am a banker working in banking sector more than a decade now. I started my career with American Express Bank and I have worked with all the top banks Kotak Mahindra Bank, ICIC Bank, HDFC Bank. So each time my friends from abroad say that Indian stocks are expensive, I say let me show you a menu. After IT sector, my most beloved sector is banking sector, which is 30% of the index. You can start with a 5P for Canara Bank, 6P for Bank of Baroda, 7P for PNB, 8P for SBI, which is our largest bank, 11P I can give you Axis Bank and Indusind Bank, and my best banks are HDFC Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, and ICICI Bank. They are trading on a P of less than 15. But still, if you think market is expensive, but you know, People who are invested in these banks are compounding their money at the rate of 18 to 20 percent. So of course you need to check on yourself, there is something wrong with you. Now post the general election, I assume everything will be steady and if you don't get 100 billion a year, that is cumulative inflow of FII and DII. I will be very very surprised and I am confident in this decade itself between 2023 to 2033, we will be a bubble market of the world. I am very much confident that the biggest bull market rally will start immediately after 7th December this year in 2023. If you remember, this is what happened in October 2013. The moment Mr. Narendra Modi was appointed as a Prime Minister candidate from Goa, so market rallied before the election. So that is the kind of timeline we have this time also. I don't know what will the market do, but as per my sense, according to the result and the mood, we will rally for sure. And my dear friends, last but not the least, don't try to change the horses midway. By just thinking the heavyweights have not performed for the last three years, why don't we jump to real estate? And next year again you will think I'll try tactically to jump from real estate to auto. In this way, you have basically given away your returns. So whatever you like and you understand, the market does not owe money to anyone. I really think from my heart that next 20 years is really India's period. So keep your bhav, the price and bhav, the emotion in check because we are heading towards a very strong growth.